In this video, I'm going to show you how to flash the BIOS of an X570 Unify using a USB drive after installing a 5000 series Ryzen chip. First thing to do is get the USB drive ready. So just format it using these settings. Once it's formatted, go to the MSI site under products, motherboards, make series. Find the X570 Unify. In the top right, go to support. Now under BIOS, there's an update on November 4th and November 16th. I'm using A82. Download the version you want. Once you've downloaded it, copy it onto the USB drive. Right click, extract all. Find your USB drive, extract. Now take this file here and put it in the main folder. Take the zip folder, put it in there. Now this needs to be renamed msi.rom. So see how it tries to make it .a82? You need to take all of that and make it msi.rom. Yes. Now what you can also do while you're here is go to support and grab the LAN drivers. So you want the Realtek PCIe Ethernet drivers, take those as well. Take the zip folder and just put it in that folder. That won't affect anything. Now I'll show you what to do next to get it to flash the BIOS with this file. Take the USB drive, put it in the USB slot with the red ring around it that says flash BIOS on the side. Next, hold the flash BIOS button for a couple seconds. Once you let go, the computer will start on its own. It'll start to access the USB drive and begin the process of installing the BIOS. Mine took less than five minutes. I used the USB key with a light on it so I could tell that it was accessing the file and that the install was in progress. Once it's done, it'll restart on its own. Make sure you have a monitor connected and a keyboard so you can boot into the BIOS. Once I was in, all I did was enable XMP. I didn't touch anything else. I haven't had any issues since. As you can see, the chips detected, the memories detected, I've got four 8 gig sticks of Patriot 4000 megahertz RAM. It's CL19. When I first installed the BIOS, I booted this on dual channel, uh, two sticks of 8 gigabyte Corsair Vengeance, 3000 megahertz CL16. It had no issue with XMP. Also, I booted it in dual channel with two Corsair Vengeance 8 gig sticks, 3600 megahertz CL18. It had no issues enabling XMP. Uh, I didn't stress test them. The only ones I've stress test are the Patriot Viper sticks and I've had no crashes, I've had no issues. So I've seen some comments about memory. Uh, if there's anything I can do to help, any experience I can offer, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching the video and we'll see you on the next one.